Hey guys, back to the video. This is the same thing. And, um, as continuing on to what school was like for me, it was, I mentioned, like, kindergarten, I got in trouble a lot. And I was cranky a lot. But the reason why I was cranky, they weren't feeding me. I had to take vitamins. This was at the time where my parents were being all natural and all that. That's, I had to, and apparently I didn't even remember I went through therapy for this. I had no idea. Now I had no idea I did that. I was like, wait, I did? I did? I went through therapy for this? Huh, that's interesting. But, yeah, that's what was that. And in kindergarten, I may I met, there were some people in my class that were nice to me, and some of them just picked on me or wanted to get me in trouble so I can go to the office constantly. But after basically getting held back in kindergarten, they my parents took me out, and I was homeschooled until I was in third grade. Now, when it came to third grade, and um, going to a public school back, but in a different state, the state I was born in, yeah, <laughs> it was, I was mostly bullied it was not fun there was a lot of people weren't saying nice things about me one of them actually called me a goat and it was a person in my class i was i was mostly the person that got pain prone or something because i kept getting hurt <laughs> like i was pushed off a balance beam i almost Someone grabbed my leg when I was going to kick them, and they flipped me, and I land on my face. Um, yeah, <laughs> that happened. But none of the kids were really, really nice to me. Only, like, a few, like I said. Again, I only had, like, one or two people that were, real, that were actually my friends in my class. And I'm not kidding you. There was, like, at least one or two people in my class that were actually nice to me. And on the bus, I got bullied. I was made fun of. I was picked on. It was not fun. I really took it personally because me, however, I was a very sensitive kid because of this. I was... I'm still kind of sensitive on certain things. And you could probably hear that I'm about to cry, but I'm I'm serious. It was not easy for me. But cyber school, it was difficult. Oh my gosh. When we had to do 7th grade hardcore math, me and my mom were bawling during the summer. Oh my gosh, I hate. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, and when it came to um, eighth grade is when I actually went to the private school that I'm still at, the school I'm at now, third year, if we count this year, third school year. I There is some people that were kind. When I came to the school, there was not that many people in my class, except like, one person that actually knew me before I went to school, and I would sit next to that person because I didn't know anyone, and I was really shy. I forgot to mention, I was a shy kid when it came to meeting new people. I usually kept quiet, which is very odd. <laughs> but once I get used to certain things, I start to actually talk and not be so shy. But... Yeah, <laughs> and now, right now, I wasn't, I'm not very, I'm not bullied that much, though, because I'm staying away from the people that actually would bully me, which is good for me, 
And I actually have a couple more friends from in school, and now I have friends from online, which I l I'm actually really proud, kind of proud of that I have friends from. I can when I go to the internet, like if I have an issue, I have people that would t tell me that everything's gonna be okay or anything if I have a bad day. And when I go to school, I have people that support me. Other than just my family, I actually have friends. Here, crap, I'm starting to cry. <laughs> okay, Anonymous a said, well, asked, how was childhood like for me? It was not easy. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I remember that I wasn't the best kid. <laughs> I was not the best child in the world. I'm being honest on that and I don't I don't even like lying. I was raised that if I lie I get in big trouble, so certain things I still keep with me and some things I don't. But as a child I actually didn't start talking to the age of five years like around four or five years old I started talking sentences. Usually I would say one word and nothing else. I was mostly, like, firm, <laughs> if I could put it that way. The only thing I could say, I was more like firm in any type of constant... I don't think that was the right word. But, way I have... I w didn't know how to talk properly. I used ED at the end of my words a lot. Um, my mom had to correct my grammar. And how I spoke a lot. And as a child, how I even got these, it, it was traumatic, I could say. Because this is why I have the fear of needles. I have the fear of, like, shot needles. Not, like, normal needles. But I am afraid of shot needles. Like, doctor shot needles, I will... I'm really, really afraid of those because of what I was going through because of that. It was not the best for me. Um, I would go to the doctor every single day, and they would put shots in me, like four shots at a time, two in my legs and two in my arms every single time. And I was uh, four years old when this happened. And it was not fun. Yeah, I'm crying right now because just thinking of it, it was. I was screaming, the nurses had to hold me down. Like. It was not easy for me. How I got the. How I got the mental disorders I had. And, as a kid, I really, growing up, really didn't have that many people that were being nice to me, like, mentioning in school. When it came to bullying, I didn't have that many friends. I felt like I was a bit alone. It was not fun. <laughs> Being alone at times, but <laughs> doing drawings like in third grade, when I started doing drawings like that, that was the only thing I could like think that I was in my own little world or something like that. <laughs> Being creative and all that stuff. Also, as a child, Actually, the first time when I even saw anything about Goosebumps, and it looks like we're out of time. I'll probably continue this in the next video. If you like this or anything like that, please com comment below if you want to subscribe if you like my content. And give us a like if you actually like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.